Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for dropping by our documentation to learn all about how to import and export Divi layouts and collections of layouts. So uh, what's so cool about the Divi library, and we've talked about this in other documentation sections about the Divi library specifically, is that it's just so powerful and time-saving when it comes to creating websites, both new and new sections of existing websites. And the reason for that is the ability to save, export, and import Divi Builder layouts or whole collections. So if you follow our blog, you probably know that every single week we're giving away an entire free layout. That's like five to eight pages um, that make up all the essential pages of a website. And you can get that in a single download and you can upload it in a single file. We're gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. And hopefully it'll save you a ton of time and it drastically improve uh, the designs that end up on your final website. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Divi Builder portability system, which allows you to import and export individual Divi Builder layouts, Divi Builder library collections, Divi roles presets, and if you're using the Divi theme, also Divi theme customizer settings and theme options. This is a great way to um, back up your favorite um, library items to use on new client websites or to share your favorite you know, Divi Builder layouts with your friends. What's great about the way the portability system works is that it encodes images directly into the export files. So if you export a Divi Builder library item and then import it onto a new website, um, it's going to import everything you need, including the images, and that layout is going to be ready to use uh, right away. So they're like independent design files, independent um, templates for Divi that you can use and share um, as you see fit. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to import and export Divi Builder library items. So you're going to want to head over to the Divi library and look for the import export button at the top of the page. Clicking this will launch the portability system um, in a new pop-up here. You can see we can export as well as import. Now, for Divi Builder library items, by default, when you click export Divi Builder light layouts, it's going to export your whole collection, your whole library, which you might not want to do. So you can also import and export um, individual ones by clicking this button here and just selecting a few items from your library. So if I head back to my library here, you can see I have various layouts here saved. And there are three in particular here I have this about, um, you know, this about series. So I've created three different about us templates, and I use these, you know, on my new websites. You know, when I'm building a new um, website for a client, I like to start off their about page with one of these three versions, um, because every website usually has an about page. Um, this is a pretty valuable template for me, and so I'm going to want to um, export it so I can import it to my new sites, as well as share it with my colleagues or um, even put it up for free for my friends uh, and so on. So I'm going to select the three items I want to export, and I'm going to head back here and click Import and Export, and then I'm going to say Only Export Selected Items, which means it's only going to export those three um, library items. You can give it a name if you like, so I can say About Us Library Items, and then I'm going to click the Export button, and this is going to export those three library items into a JSON file, which is going to show up in your downloads on your computer, as a .json file, and that file is what you can use to import those three library um, items to your new website using the Import tab here. So if I head over to a new website that does not have my About Us um, library items, I can um, import them. I can click Import and Export, head over to the Import tab, now I'm going to choose, uh, choose File, and I'm going to find that um, JSON file that I just exported. Um, so here it is, About Us Library Items. I'm going to open that and click Import. And the import process can take some time depending on how many um, images you have. And once it's done, um, it's going to refresh and you're going to see those items have been added. Here we go. Here they are, About Us 1, 2, and 3. And if you go in here, you can see that um, everything has been added, including the images. And these are ready to go and ready to use. And if I go over to a new page, and I want to load from library, and I go over here, you can see they've been added, and I can load these right up. I can preview the page. 
and everything's ready to go. So that's how um, importing and exporting Divi Builder library items works. And like I said, this is a really, really, really cool feature. Um, it's a great way to kind of jumpstart new projects. Um, and I think that um, the more you build up your, your kind of library collections, um, the faster you're going to be able to build new sites. Now, not only can you import and export Divi Builder library items, you can also import and export um, individual pages. So um, you can see the import and export icon here. You're going to see this icon throughout Divi, whether it's in the um, Divi Builder itself, whether it's in the theme options or theme customizer or role editor. Whenever you see this icon, it means you can launch the portability system and import or export items onto the current system. So in this case, I could export this individual page and then load it onto a new website directly into the builder. So I could click export. I can just call it about us. I'm going to export the layout. And then I'm going to head over to a new page here. And I'm going to import that item directly onto the page. I'm going to choose import export. This time I'm going to import it. I'm going to choose that about us item that I just exported. And then I can import it. Now, uh, one cool feature that we, that we give you here is um, a backup feature, which is whenever you're importing something, you can also choose to back it up at the same time. So this is important, especially for theme customizer settings or theme options, um, just to make sure you don't accidentally overwrite everything with the wrong import file. And so if you click this, um, then it's going to automatically download a backup of the current page before importing um, the new one. So if you're worried about anything, just um, download a backup. It doesn't hurt. Um, it's always recommended. Um, in this case, I have a fresh page with nothing on it, so there's no reason to really back up anything. So I'm going to leave that deselected, but just keep that in mind that that option is always available to you. So I'm going to choose File. I'm going to choose About Us, and then Import. And this is going to import that individual layout that I just ex exported a moment ago. And as you can see, um, the import has been imported into the page. And so that's how you import and export um, Divi Builder library items, as well as individual Divi Builder layouts. Now, moving on, like I said, the portability system stretches the entire theme. Um, and so if you go to any, anywhere you go inside of Divi or the Divi Builder, you're going to find um, the option to import and export. So for example, the role editor. You'll also see an import export icon. It works the same exact way. Um, for example, if I had customized some settings here, and um, these are kind of like maybe my default settings for, for clients. Um, I probably want to edit the editor. So maybe I have some default, you know, kind of like roles I like to give my, my clients on new sites. I could um, save my roles here, and I could export them. And when I head over to my new site, I could import them. And then that would import the roles that I had previously saved. I could choose a file, choose Divi role settings. I could download a backup as well. Download the backup and then import the new version. And then my, you know, my exported roles would be ready to go. Now you can also import theme options and theme customizer settings. So same thing. You'll see the portability icon here. You can import and export. And all of your theme options will be imported and exported. And theme customizer settings as well. If you head over here, you can see the import export icon. Um, if you have, this is a, actually a really great way to jumpstart new projects as well, because so much can be done inside the theme customizer. You can really create completely different looking websites just through the Divi um, customizer settings. And you can spend a lot of time in here. So. Once you've created you know, a specific you know, look, maybe you want to reuse that look in the future, or maybe you're just transferring hosts or whatever, um, you can export those and then import them onto new websites. And then your Divi theme customizer settings will be um, ready to go, ready to use. And yep, that's a basic overview of the Divi portability system, um, which allows you to import and export anything within Divi.